Hello? Alright guys, today we're going to be talking about how to play the cross net. Just like the regular net, just like every other shot in badminton, it requires speed take. So a lot of people, when they play the cross net, like the shuttle will come here and then they'll like take it right here. And they'll like, it'll go to the left or to the right, but it won't be as good as if you had taken it here. Instead of thinking of it as like hitting it to the left, instead thinking of hitting it straight but in that orientation will help you tremendously when it comes to the quality of your cross net. If the shuttle is coming to you here and then you take it to the side of here and then you play straight like that, it will play super good. The quality will be a lot better than if you had tried to play it like this because then it'll go cross but it'll go outwards so this is what like a like that's what i mean by like i'm hitting it to the side right better if i take it to the side and then i play like that the pace is a lot better and then it's a lot more straight right so even if i take it like like that so i'm trying to take it as much as i can to the side and then i'm just pressing with the pitik and then pitik don't be afraid to use pace right better if like if you use your arm right it's just gonna go all the way out right there as, as much as you can take it to the side the tighter and tighter it's gonna get to the net we're trying to take it as much as we can to the side and then pitik. So the forehand side tends to be a bit easier just because the body will want to rotate internally like this. This situation, it actually is quite helpful to have a little bit of internal rotation because you are wanting it to go across. Just make sure that you're not just rotating inwards, that you're actually using your pitik. If you're just using the internal rotation, the quality is not going to be good and it's going to go outwards too. Like the, the quality is not as good as it can be and it's not as um, consistent. But we want to be using pitik as for the speed. Yeah, like that. You want to be taking it as much as you can to the side, and you want to be pitik, like that. But obviously those are going out, so we want to angle it more to the side. Like, it's important to have confidence. A lot of people tend to like play it slow like this. If you want good quality, you need to learn how to use your fingers and be confident that the quality will be good. Because like this is going to be way too slow, too loopy, but like that would be like a lot more harder to get. Again, take it to the side. Don't drop it. See, that's why like a lot of them are coming down, because like I'm tending to drop it. You want to be taking it up. Just hit it to the side, right? Pitik. There's a lot of practice, a lot of consistency. See you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys think. Peace. Bye-bye.